This is a 30 minute flow to help balance the channels of the body. So we'll work with the right and the left side of the body to create balance as you step off of your mat and into your day. Starting in child's pose, big toes together, stretch your arms out in front and right away step into the sound of your breath. Keeping your arms out in front of you, feel the length from your fingertips all the way to the roots of your hips, your sitting bones as they shift back. And then staying down low, start to crawl out over your right thigh. Reach both hands off of your mat, and as you extend through your fingertips, drop your head and sweep your breath into your left lung. As if you could get longer from the top of your left hip all the way through your left fingertips. And then on an inhale, come back through the center and all the way over to the left. With a rib swing breath, let your right rib swing out to the right and use your mind as if you could send all of your breath into the entire right side of your body this time. On an inhale, come back through the center, reach your fingertips out long, shift your hips back. And on an inhale, rise up to all fours. Feel the contraction of your belly in, your front ribs in, so you contain yourself a little abdominal strength. Gazing down, on an inhale, reach your right leg back, and at the same time, reach your left arm forward. Going for length from fingertip to heel, not height. So tailbone reaches back, sternum draws ahead. Take an inhale, reach out and grow long. Exhale, set everything back down onto the mat. Same thing, second side. Inhale your left leg up and back and reach your right arm forward. Sense how your outer left hip turns down to the floor. Gaze down and just go for length, not only in the sides of the waist, but between each little vertebrae. Take one more inhale, reach it all out, and exhale, set it all back down. Then in a dynamic flow, inhale right leg and left arm, Exhale, set it down slow. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, set it back down to the mat, two to go. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, tabletop pose. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, back to the mat. Last time, inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale, plaque onto the mat. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale, tabletop pose. Keep the lift of the belly and step your feet back. Top of a push-up, same length through the sides of the waist. Press your heels back, take a goodbye breath. Exhale and lower slow all the way down onto the mat. Release the body to the floor, release the tops of the feet flat. On an inhale, low cobra, but this time lift your hands up and off the mat. So sensing that you're using your upper back muscles to create the lift in the chest. Exhale, hands down, heart, chest, and chin down. Inhale to low cobra. Keep your palms planted this time, but lift your feet. Stretch through the inseam of your pants and reach through your toes. See how long you can get through your legs. Exhale, lower your feet. Lower your heart, your chest, your chin. This time, palms stay planted, feet stay flat. Inhale, lift your heart and drag the heels of your hands back like you could get longer through the sides of your waist to lift your chest. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin lower slow. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, keep what you have. Inhale, rise to all 10 toes. And then exhale, bend your knees, shift your chest back towards your thighs, and stick your sitting bones high to the sky. So you feel long through the sides of your waist and the length of your spine. Down dog isn't just about strengthening your arms and legs, it's about keeping the back healthy. From this bent knee down dog, inhale, pulse forward, upper push-up plank, and then exhale back to a bent knee down dog. Keep all the length through the back. Two more, inhale forward, upper push-up plank. Exhale, bent knee down dog, sitting bones high, chest back. Last time, inhale forward, upper push-up plank. 
Exhale, bent knee downward facing dog. See how long your spine can stay as you start to send the heels down toward the mat. On an inhale, press your heart, your chest back. And as you exhale, tiny steps to the top of the mat. One step at a time, send your heels down low. See how long you can stay through your spine, your back. Then on an inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, fold forward and in. On an inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Interlace all the fingers except the first finger of each hand. And as you exhale, side stretch to the right. Lateral movement of the spine, one of the healthiest things we can do for the back. Inhale through the center, creating balance. Exhale over to the left. Tailbone heavy, chest rolling open as you stretch. Inhale through the center, grow long, maybe gaze up. Exhale, fold forward over your thighs. Inhale, chest out long through the sides of the waist, shoulders back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float your way back. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. Keep all of the length that you cultivated by tilting your sitting bones high and descending your heels low. And then with the intention of drawing balance in today, find an evenness between your in-breath and your out-breath. What in yoga we call samma vritti, just even balanced breathing, as we link this together. Take an inhale, press back. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float. Inhale, glance out, flat back. Exhale, fold forward and in. Inhale, both arms to the sky, interlace the fingers, reach high. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, through the midline. Exhale, dive and fold over the thighs. Inhale, stretch your heart, your chest ahead. Keep the length. Step or float back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, roll your way back. So in yoga, we balance out the feminine and the masculine, the Shiva and the Shakti, the left and right channels of the body, reflected in the in and out breath. So every breath you take is a step forward to balance, both on and off your mat. Inhale, press your chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, step or float. Inhale, lengthen your spine, your back. Exhale, fold forward and in. Inhale, circle your arms overhead, interlace. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, through the middle rise. Exhale, get empty of breath, dive. Inhale, glancing out. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga, step or float. Inhale, lift your heart, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog from the pit of your belly. Allow your body to be steady. And knowing that even though we're creating balance, the breath and the rate of the heart might pick up a little bit. And all of that is okay, it's a good sign. Allow your breath to meet the pace that works for you today. One last cycle. Inhale, press your chest back. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, fold and melt. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, side stretch without a back bend to the right. Inhale, through the center. Exhale, to the left side. Inhale, through the middle rise. Exhale, last time, fold and dive. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga, descend. Inhale, wide collarbones and chest. Exhale, from the pit of your belly, wind your way up and back. Pause and down dog. And then notice that there's balanced effort in your body, that you're not hardening your forehead, tensing your jaw, or gripping your toes or your fingers, that you're only using the effort that you need in order to sustain the shape. Big inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float. Inhale, glance out. 
Exhale, fold and melt. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose. Weight shifting to the heels, reach long through the fingertips, take an inhale. Exhale, chest to thighs, arms by the sides, feel the length through the spine. Inhale, deep breath, chair pose. Forward fold, dive down and in over your thighs. Inhale, chest out, heart ahead. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, shift back. Right leg to the sky on an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot through. On your back toes, cultivate all of that spinal length by sending the crown of your head forward and your left heel back. Float your belly an inch above your right thigh and run your arms by your sides. Palms to the sky, shoulders down your back. Keep your left arm where it is and reach your right arm forward. Grow long as you stretch your right hand away from your left. If your right hip kicks out, hug your right hip in. Inner thighs squeeze toward each other like crazy. And then just switch, left arm forward, right arm back, keep all the length through your spine. Right fingertips reach back, left fingertips reach forward. If you're sensitive in the back, both arms sweep back. If the back is healthy, biceps by the ears, reach out through the hands. On an inhale, press and rise, crescent pose, pause at the top. Bend your left knee so you can drop your sitting bones down and lift your pubic bone towards your face. Long through the sides of your waist, send your left thigh to the sky, your left heel back. Take one more inhale, reach up, maybe gaze up and watch the palms connect. Exhale, plant both hands to the mat, step back to plank and lower with strength. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, press back, second side. Left leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, left foot steps forward. On back toes, reach through the top of the head, firm the right thigh to the sky, and then run the arms by the sides. Palms to the sky so the shoulders can roll down the back. As you extend through the fingertips, keep the right arm where it is and just reach the left arm forward. Draw long through the sides of the waist and keep your left thigh descending parallel to the mat. Then like a swimmer in a pool, just switch sides. Right arm forward, left arm back. Feel the lift of your belly, the firming of your ribs in. With your chin gently tucked, either run both arms straight back or reach both arms ahead. Like you have a light block in your hands, strong through your arms, triceps and forearms hug in. Inhale, press and rise to crescent pose. First round, lengthen your tailbone by bending your right knee, drawing up and out of the sides of your waist. When you're ready, send your right leg towards straight, Take an inhale, reach up, maybe watch your palms connect. Exhale, both hands to the mat, step back to plank. Lower, slow, same out breath. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, wind your way back, pause and down dog. And then sense that what balance requires is that balance between effort and effortlessness, between strength and ease. So allow yourself these opportunities in down dog to really reset, knowing that if you need to rest, you can. Otherwise, let's link it together a little heat. Inhale, chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, step or float. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward inside. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. Exhale, chest down, arms back one time. Inhale, chair pose, reach high. Exhale, forward fold over your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through light. One breath, inhale, crescent pose, sweep and rise. Exhale, hands down, step back and descend. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, roll over your toes. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, left foot steps through. Inhale, crescent pose, sweep and lift. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step to plank, same out breath, let it go. Inhale, widen the front of the chest. Exhale, roll back over your toes. Pause and down dog. Take an inhale, stretch back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, fold and melt. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose. Exhale, chest down, arms back, flow. Inhale, back up to chair pose. Exhale, fold forward and dive. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, plant your hands through the vinyasa descend. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. One breath, crescent pose, sweep and rise. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back to plank, elbows in and back. Inhale, roll your chest open. Exhale, down dog shift. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent pose, sweep and rise. Exhale, plant your hands. Step back, low or slow. Inhale, heart high. Exhale, down dog. On an inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot through. Inhale to crescent pose. Exhale, open out warrior two. Spin your back foot flat. Turn your gaze ahead and sit down through your right thigh, but feel your tailbone lengthening to the earth and your front ribs drawing down. So you're long through the sides of your torso. Keep what you have, turn your right palm to the sky. Inhale, reverse your warrior, getting long through the right channel of your body. As if, like you started in child's pose, you could send all of your breath into your right lung as you stretch back. Take one more inhale, lean back. Exhale, right elbow, right thigh today. Left arm up and right away over the head. So then you counterpose your reverse warrior with the left side of your body getting a sweet touch, a sweet stretch. As long as you can get through the spine so that the left side waist is almost parallel to the mat. Then in a flow around the center of your body, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, right elbow down, left arm extends. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, right elbow down, left arm extends. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm overhead. Exhale, right elbow, right thigh, left arm overhead, pause here. On an inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand inside your right foot this time. Turn your left palm to face behind you, drop your left hand behind your back. You can stay here in half a bind, roll the left shoulder open, or reach underneath and hook the left fingertips with the right hand. Lift the right side of the waist up and roll the chest open. Lead through the crown of the head. Collarbone still wide, maybe gaze over your left shoulder, see how long you can get. Keep your feet steady, your thighs firm, and on an inhale, back up to warrior two, release the bind. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Turn the right toes to mirror the left, and then kick the heels in, turn the toes out, sit the hips down. Tailbone heavy, interlace your hands behind your head. Flare your elbows out wide, and working with the side obliques, exhale, left elbow to left thigh, tap and touch. Inhale through the center. Exhale, right elbow, right thigh, tap and touch. Inhale through the center. One more time. Exhale, left elbow, left thigh, knees stay bent deep. Inhale to the center. Exhale, right elbow, right thigh, tap and touch. Inhale through the center. Spread your arms out wide, turn your palms up, sit down and in. Inhale, straighten both legs, turn your toes ahead. Reach your fingertips up, take a breath. Exhale, dive and fold, hands behind the back, lengthen through the top of your head. Let your head be heavy and remain strong in your legs. It requires a little abdominal strength 
to lengthen through your mid back. Let your head hang. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Stay down low, crawl yourself forward into a high runner's lunge. Inhale, draw your heart, your chest through. Exhale, fold over your right thigh, let your head hang. Inhale, bend your right knee, draw your heart, your chest through. Exhale, fold over your right thigh, let your head hang. Last time, inhale, bend your right knee, high runner's lunge, flat back. Exhale, fold, maybe let your spine round a little bit. Inhale, re-bend your right knee, plant your hands flat, step back to plank pose. Take an inhale and drop your left knee down underneath your left hip. Right leg lifts back to where we began. Keep what you have, but this time, turn all five right toes to the right, so the arch of your foot is parallel to the mat. Then reach your right leg all the way out of your right hip, and drop your right foot down to the mat. Right foot aligned with your right hip. Inhale your left arm to the sky. And exhale, take a twist. Thread your left arm underneath your right. Let your left shoulder rest. Your right fingertips can stay in front of your face. Your right arm can reach ahead. Or your right hand can even bind behind your back. Anywhere that's right for you, moving into your right inner thigh. Letting your left temple, your left shoulder descend. Wherever you are, inhale your right arm back up to the sky. And exhale, plant your right hand back in front of your face. Press back to all fours, wrists underneath your shoulders. Inhale your right leg. And exhale, send it straight back. Take a full breath. Exhale, knee to the mat. Low belly lifts. Step your feet back to plank. Hover slow. Inhale, pull your heart, your chest through. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Setting up for your second side. Inhale, your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot through. Crescent pose, last time. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, open out warrior two as you spread. See if you can feel the sides of your waist hugging in, your belly drawing in toward the midline, like you're giving yourself a good, sweet squeeze. Turn your left palm to the sky. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As long as you can get through your left side, lift your left hip and move your breath into the left lung, getting long from each little intercostal muscle as you spread the breath all the way to the left. Take one more inhale, stretch back. Exhale, left elbow, left thigh. Right arm up and overhead as you target the second side. Roll your chest open to the sky and keep your back right thigh firm. Then in a gentle flow around the midline of your body, inhale, reverse your warrior left arm up and back. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm extends. Inhale, reverse your warrior up and back. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm extends. Last time, inhale, reverse your warrior, sweep it back. Exhale, left elbow down, right arm extends. Keep what you have, reach your right arm to the sky and drop your left hand inside your left foot. As you reach up through your right fingertips, turn your right palm to face behind you, drop your right hand behind your back. You can stay in half a bind or reach underneath, hook your right fingertips. Lift your left waist off your left thigh and draw long through the crown of your head. Roll the right side of your chest open and keep your face soft as you extend. Firming down through your thighs. On one big inhale, press and rise. Warrior two, spread your arms wide. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes to mirror your right. Kick your heels in, drop your hips and interlace your hands behind your head. Working the side obliques, take an inhale here. Exhale, right elbow, right thigh, left knee stays where it is. Inhale through the center. Exhale, left elbow, left knee, tap and touch. Inhale through the middle, last time. Right elbow, right knee, tap and touch. Inhale to the center. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Inhale to the center. Spread your arms out, turn your palms out, sink in a little bit. Inhale, straighten both legs, turn the toes ahead. 
This time, hands at the hips, take an inhale, lift your heart, your chest. Exhale, drop your head, hold opposite elbows and hang. Sway a little side to side. Let your head be heavy, maybe bounce a little bit. Take one more inhale, release your hands to the earth. Inhale, glance out halfway and crawl to your top left leg. Turn your left toes forward, land in a high runner's lunge. Inhale, sink your hips, draw your heart through like cat cow. Exhale, drop your head, straighten both legs, pull your hips back, two to go. Inhale, bend your left knee, pull your heart, your chest through. Exhale, drop your head, fold over your left thigh. One last time. Inhale, re-bend your left knee, draw your chest ahead. Exhale, fold forward and in. On an inhale, re-bend your left knee, plant your hands and step back to the top of a push-up. Take an inhale and lower your right knee underneath your right hip. Lift your left leg up and then turn all five left toes to face the left. Bring your left leg outside your left hip as far as you can get. Stay long through the sides of your waist. And at the last moment, set your left foot down exactly outside of your left hip. Left hand underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left this time. Right shoulder, right temple, rest. Left hand can stay in front of your face. Your left arm can reach forward or your left hand can come up and bind behind your back. Roll your chest open. Let your left temple be heavy as you move into your inner left thigh. If your left hand's behind your back or outstretched, slide your left hand back in front of your face. Press down into all fours, wrists underneath shoulders, lift your left leg, Send your left leg straight back. Turn your left toes down. Lower your right knee to the mat. Step your feet back. Last time, plank pose, take an inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat this time. Release the tops of the feet. Run the arms by the sides. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, lift the legs, and lift the fingertips. Shalabhasana, locust pose, as long as you can get through the sides of the waist and the legs. Keep everything lifted, interlace your hands behind your back, draw your knuckles back, lift your heart, lift your chest. Take one more big inhale, everything lifts. Exhale, lower the feet, lower the hands, turn your left cheek to the mat. Sway your hips a little side to side, a little left and right. Lift your gaze, turn your opposite cheek down, right cheek rests, rock a little side to side. Slide your hands by your low ribs. Inhale to cobra, and exhale, press back to child's pose. Fold over your thighs, feel the length through the sides of your waist. Coming full circle back to the place where you began, sense the space that you've cultivated today. On an inhale, rise to all fours, crawl your knees forward, cross your ankles behind you, and turn to face the right side of your mat. Spread your legs out wide. Flex your feet towards your face. Knees point up, toes point up. Keep your left leg where it is. Bring your right foot inside your left thigh. Reach your left hand inside your left foot. Turn your thumb down and inhale your right arm to the sky. Keeping all the length through the sides of your body. Take one more inhale, lean back. Exhale, right arm up and over your head. You can stay right here or hook the foot with the hand. Roll the chest open, flare the right elbow to the sky. Maybe look under the arm, lengthen through the crown of the head. On an inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, press through the center and rise. Reach the right leg out. Bring the left foot into the inside. Right hand comes inside the right foot. Turn the palm in. Plant the elbow and the calf together. Reach the left arm to the sky. Keeping all the length you made, take one more inhale. Exhale, left arm up and over your head. You can stay right here, or maybe you happen to catch the foot. If that's the case, flare the elbow to the sky. Roll the chest open. 
Still flexing your right toes back. Right ribs under, left ribs back. Face soft. On an inhale, left arm to the sky. Exhale, press and rise through the center. Turn to face the top of your mat, hug and squeeze your knees in. As your knees hug in, a little rock of gratitude side to side in your low back. Take the outside edges of the feet, turn the soles of the feet to the sky. So even in happy baby pose, we work toward long sides of the torso. Sitting bones reach forward, tailbone, that nice triangular bone at the low back, tries to touch the floor. With length through your low back, drop your shoulders down. Maybe close the eyes. Last little moment here as you flex the feet. Take one more inhale. Hug the knees into the chest as you exhale. Bring the forehead up to meet the knees. Squeeze the fingers, squeeze the toes. Take one last big inhale. And exhale, <sighs> let it all go. Feet extend, arms by the sides, palms turn to the sky. Allow yourself to rest heavy to the earth. And even if you don't have much time, the truest act of balance is honoring all the effort that you've showed up until this point of time. Allowing yourself the chance to rest, even if it's just for a few breaths. Sealing your practice in, making it whole and complete. If you can stay in Shavasana for a little extra time today, please stay here. Otherwise, if you need to, draw your knees into your chest, rock your way up to sit. Hands at your heart, eyes still closed, gaze turned in. With the understanding that as we step off the mat and back into life, at times, urgency will creep back in. That we will probably fall out of balance, and that is okay in the same way that our yoga practice is perfectly imperfect, our life is perfectly imperfect, and that's where the learning takes place. Knowing that your breath, that your mat and your practice are always here for you when you need to come back to center again, that your center is an unshakable place that is always within. Inhale your hands to your forehead for clarity of thought, your fingertips to your lips for thoughtfulness of speech, and your hands to your heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, and doing. Take a deep breath in and open your mouth. Namaste.